Hi guys, today we are going to see about how to view a PDF in a web page using a PDF.js library. Now let's get started by creating two files index.html and index.js. Now in the index.html we load the html5 boilerplate. I'm going to give a heading h1 as PDF viewer. I'm also going to set the same as a page title by pasting it inside the title tag. Let's add a div tag with the id as PDF viewer div. Now let's uh, point the script tag to index.js. Okay, now let's go to localhost and check. So now if you see whatever we are given in the heading tag we are able to see here. Let's go to JS Deliver to download or copy the CDN link. We'll search for jQuery. jQuery is actually not required. I prefer jQuery for all the basic JS functions. If you want, you can proceed without it. Now we will search for PDF.js dist library by Mozilla. Okay, that is PDF.js dist. Okay. Now we will copy all the selected links and paste it in our code. Okay, now let's open the console tab in our web page so that if there is any issues we can we'll be able to debug it easily. Now let's go to index.js and start writing our code. I'm going to call a function in it PDF viewer once our page is loaded. Now let's define the init PDF viewer function. Let's call our library pdf.js lib dot get document. I'm going to give the path of the PDF which has to be loaded as a parameter. In my case, I have already have a PDF called sample PDF dot PDF in the same working directory. So this is the PDF, uh, which is around like three pages. So let's load this PDF. This is an asynchronous function. Uh, this will read the PDF and return the information in an object format. Let's name it as PDF doc. We will put a catch here in case if any error happens, we will name it as PDF error. Let's console both PDF error and PDF uh, doc. Let's save the file now and uh, let's refresh the page. Now we'll be able to see a object in the console. Let's expand it. Now if you see there is a PDF info object and it is also giving the number of pages in the PDF. Let's save this number of pages in a PDF, this information in a variable called pages. Now let's read a page from the PDF using get page function. So we'll write PDF doc dot get page and we have to pass the page number as the argument here. So let's read the first page here. This is also an asynchronous function. So this will return the page information. Let's name it as page and also we'll put the catch here. I name it as page error. Let's console and check. Uh, let's save and check now. Uh, so let's refresh the page. 
so if you see there are two objects have been consoled here the first one is the pdf doc and the second one is the page information which uh, we just consoled now we have already created a div named pdf viewer div so uh, let's clear the content in that div now let's create a canvas element let pdf canvas equal to document dot create element of canvas now let's get the context of the canvas uh, so let context equal to pdf canvas dot get context of 2d to render this uh, pdf we need to know the page viewport of that pdf so let's get the viewport of that particular page so page viewport equal to page dot get viewport of scale equal to one so this get viewport is a function provided by the pdfjs library itself so let's console it and let's see what it returns so let's save it and refresh it now if you see we are now able to see the page viewport object here and it returns with height width of the particular page so let's apply uh, set this item width of this pdf page to canvas so pdf canvas dot width equal to page viewport dot width pdf canvas dot height equal to page viewport dot height Now let's append this PDF canvas to this PDF viewer div. Now let's uh, render this page uh, in PDF viewer div. So page dot render. In the argument you need to pass the canvas context so canvas context colon context and we also need to pass the viewport so viewport colon we need to pass the page viewport so now let's save and render it if you see we I'm able to see the page one of that particular PDF but there are still uh, three more pages to be loaded now we need to show all the pages so let's put a loop here based on the number of pages so for let i is equal to 1 i less than equal to pages i plus plus we will copy these code and paste it within the loop So instead of the page number we'll put i here so now let's save the code and uh, let's refresh the page yes if you see now we are able to see all the pages here so now let's clean the code by removing all the unwanted consoles Uh, so if you want to have a zoomed version of the PDF, you need to play with the scale. If you increase the scale number, you will get a zoomed version of a PDF. 
that is it will all the fonts will be increased in size so if i put scale 2 it will be increased than the scale 1 and if i increase to scale 3 then it will be much bigger okay i will switch back to scale 1 now that's it now you guys know how to use a pdf js library to provide a pdf viewer in a web page thank you